Hi guys, I thought you might find this uh, a bit interesting. Uh, this is a lampshade uh, that I made for myself uh, back in 2001. And um, when I say I made it, I made uh, everything there other than the lamp holder and the, the bulb. Um, the, the shade is 15 inches diameter. That's 38 centimetres. It's made up of uh, 12 glass panels and uh, each panel um, I made by fusing two 3 inch square glass panels together and uh, the things that look like leaves inside um, are actually made from uh, copper wire and aluminium foil. I'm just going to get one down. These are the two panels I've just taken down, and uh, oops, and uh, you can't see, but that's actually two sheets of uh, glass growing a fur coat, getting a bit dusty. <laughs> um, and uh, maybe this one shows up a little better. Um, the shape of the leaf is cut from uh, kitchen foil, um, so aluminium foil, and. Um, one of my American colleagues always used to say, why don't you say aluminum, it's easier to say, but uh, it's, uh, I think they spell it differently. And I, I normally sign all of my things and it says Air Andy 2001, not very clear on that one, a little uh, clearer there. And these wires uh, that uh, suspend the panel, that's a little bit of nichrome wire, that's a sort of wire you get from an electric fire bar. And I've just shaped those with uh, a pair of round nose pliers like that and then just sandwiched it between the two sheets of glass. Almost certainly I would have put something under there, uh, uh, under that, just to, to hold it up uh, whilst it was in the kiln. <coughs> so I um, had a lot of fun doing that. Oh, the, um, uh, the veins of the leaf I made with uh, copper wire of, uh, of different sizes. Um, I hope that comes out okay on here. Um, it's a bit of fun. Oh, the, the glass is just ordinary window glass. This is uh, a real leaf uh, that I sandwich between two pieces of glass. That gets very tricky because when you... Um, yeah, then that again, that was... Uh, I've, I've engraved that, as you might see there. Um, maybe not. That says Andy Davis, 1998. Um, and I haven't done any of this for years now. Uh, but when you put a, a leaf in between two pieces of glass, you, you have to leave them sort of open because, um, and then arrange for the glass to drop down once the leaf has uh, burnt out and done all of the outgassing that it's going to do. But uh, that gets used as a little uh, coaster to put the uh, tea on. Um, but I uh, had a lot of fun doing that and uh, I wanted to get involved with other glass work and uh, 15 years ago I bought uh, this stuff, this, this glass and uh, I haven't had the opportunity to look at it um, but now um, I'm going to get into uh, doing a bit of lamp work um, so some fabulous uh, collars here um, but at the moment I can't find the information that tells me what the coefficient of expansion is uh, for this particular glass. But I've got another bunch here. This, is, this has been in deep storage. <laughs> um, but uh, I've got this to have a go at. Um, I can't even remember what's in here, and I think it's just more of the same. But I haven't seen this for years. It's been uh, 
Sort of stashed away. Yeah, more of the same. Oh good, there's some clear there. I don't think I've got any clear. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, uh, I'm, I made uh, these in a, a little kiln, and I'll show you the kiln, because I made the kiln myself. This is the uh, little kiln I made, and that's uh, just over a foot wide by uh, 16 inches by 20 inches. And I made it out of a, a scrap machine. I cut the uh, panels. It's thin aluminium, and I, I cut the panel. And pa I cut the panels up on a, a guillotine, and I folded little um, uh, L-shaped pieces underneath. And I've just pop riveted it all around. A bit of piano hinge there. And um, well, these are a couple of thermocouples I've got in there. And this is uh, a little. Um, uh, thyristor temperature controller so it, it doesn't control ramp or anything I have to set the power levels and the demand temperature and then this just plugs into there it's got a one kilowatt element in it so a single catch and uh, so the insulation is uh, KO wool um, a ceramic wool and the insulation is about two inches thick yeah, about two inches thick, and that's the element there, and um, that's that's it there. And the element is uh, it's a one kilowatt or one point two kilowatt, and it's it, it looks like it's it's one of these. Um, I had a, a job where I, I made a machine for annealing elements, and uh, they sent me oh probably. 100 elements to sort of uh, use on applications trials and um, of course after I've been messing with them they don't want them back in their production um, because it, they're out of their control so I had loads of these and it was I think it was these elements that gave me the idea I thought I'll use them so I just bent it to to suit so that's why it's a funny shape in there because it's it's a bit too long just to have as, as a loop round and uh, I'll show you the back just four little screws holding that on and then I've got lots of holes in this aluminium box to uh, let any heat out and then uh, quite literally the end of the element comes to there Uh, the end of the element is connected to that ceramic, um, that terminal in there. And then this other terminal here has just got a bit of wire. And that bit of wire would touch there first so that the there's no live parts can touch that. So there's nothing connected to that bit of wire, it's just a spacer. And the reason I, <laughs> I did that was so I could change the elements uh, quickly because um, these elements, if I get them too hot, they burn out. And uh, I've got a note there, so it's uh, typically 44.5 ohms, uh, so 5.3 amps. So it's about 1.29, 1.3 kilowatts there. And um, as I say, I, I made all of those panels and, and a lot of others with this. So I'm just resurrecting this because I'm going to have some, uh, uh, some time playing with uh, kiln formed glass or I should say kiln fused glass and I'm also going to have a look at some uh, some bead making and looking at the lampshade again you can see uh, these little fixings they just uh, I don't know, they just hook on there so uh, I don't close that loop up I'll leave it so that I can uh, <clears throat> uh, I can just unhook those panels if I want, and then the uh, this uh, framework is just a bit of uh, uh, bronze strip, and uh, those are actually some bronze welding rods <laughs> uh, there. Um, 
But anyway, um, as I say, I thought it'd be interesting and I, this whole thing sort of cost me virtually nothing because it, it, it's built out of uh, junk. The, um, uh, the, the lampshade material is actually what we used to call elephant hide and it's the insulation used for uh, high voltage transformers and it's just um, a rather nice material. It's a bit like parchment but it'll stand a fabulous temperature. Um, anyway, uh, I, I just thought uh, you might be interested to see that guys. This is uh, another little coaster that I've made. Uh, again it's uh, two sheets of uh, window glass that have been fused together and uh, the material in the middle there that's um, aluminium uh, cooking foil or kitchen foil and um, it's uh, as I hold it up to the light you'll see it's, it's gone uh, translucent. I, I cut that shape out um, the, the the squares out of a, a single sheet and uh, it produces this really uh, very attractive uh, effect um, and that's the side that was in contact with the, uh, the kiln shelf there and that side is smooth just as I um, finished recording that this little package comes through the door I know what's going to be inside it. This is this is more glass. This is what's called dichroic glass. And um, this uh, this is going to again going to be used for playing with at Christmas in the. Uh, uh, I've got a microwave kiln, um, which is something else I will show you when I get round to it. But uh, uh, this is uh, fabulous stuff. I've not um, I've not played with it before, um, but uh, I'm looking forward to making some uh, pendants and things like that. Uh, I've got Sophie's sister coming over. Uh, to spend Christmas with us and uh, I'm hoping they're going to be able to make some uh, jewellery with this stuff. Um, amazing colours. Um, that's dichroic glass and that's the, the metallised glass on a black background um, and that one's transparent. Uh, do you see you get those uh, wonderful colours. Anyway, um, that was just a bonus. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I was expecting it, but I didn't anticipate it. It would come right now. Okay, guys. Um, again, uh, well, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.